Now all the entities have been added, the relationships have been added, the connecting lines with multiplicities on the entity sides have been added, and any assumptions have been added to clearly define all of those connecting multiplicities. So we've got it the way we want it. This would be our chance now to verify it and make sure that everything is the way that we expect it to be. So we would want to read through the scenario one more time, make sure we're re representing it the way that it says in, that it specifies in the scenario. We want to look and make sure we've got our numbers on our assumptions so we can find them on the diagram. Make sure that there are the relationships are all connected, the entities are connected with a relationship. And here we've got two relationships through the, to the same two entities. This is uncommon, so you want to look at that and make sure that that's not a repeated connection, that, that there are two distinct relationships. So normally they'll just be one, and even though you could say them different going one way or another, it's still just one relationship. But this one is two distinct relationships. Students can register for sections. Instructors teach sections. So you want to make sure that that is very clear and that you really do have two distinct instructors teach sections. Maybe we don't want this teaches, maybe we want it teach. So you do these kind of cleaning up things to make it the way that it's going to work. And <clears throat> once you get it all set, then you're good. Now, it uh, looks like that maybe this one will stay on one page. There's a dotted line. We want, we want these diagrams to be on one page. So I could even move this up a little bit to make sure it's nice and on one page. So if everything lines up and fits on one page, that's great. But there's a way that you can save it to be one page, even if it's on multiple pages, because these diagrams can get big. So now we want to, we can't turn in this particular version, right? We have to have something that we can turn in. So we want to export it as a PDF. So when you get everything verified, it looks the way you want, export as a PDF. And then to get it onto one page, then you slick crop. And that will make sure that it's, no matter how big it is, it will put it on one PDF page, which is really what we want. So our options are to save it in these different places or to download it. Now I'm going to download this one and I'll download it as a PDF and just save it. And then that gives me a file that I can turn in. And there it is, that's the PDF version of that same file, of that diagram. And so now there's a PDF that can be turned in. And this is what it looks like when it's all verified and completed.